Morning, everybody. Just uh, running a few errands here with Elijah. Say good morning. Morning. <laughs> We're just uh, running a few errands around town. <laughs> Got to go down to Joppa a little bit later today. And um, just uh, wanted to talk about one subject here that uh, has been really on my mind and a lot of anglers' minds uh, here, like for, you know, last few years really, but uh, particularly the last year uh, it's been really a big deal and that is all the aquatic spraying going on in Florida and um, I, it just absolutely disgusts and amazes me what is going on down there what's been going down there you know for years and years I remember back for example when I first started fishing Lake Okeechobee back in the uh, uh, I guess it was 1986 was the first year maybe I fished Okeechobee and I don't know, for those of you who have been down there, you can probably relate to this, but back in 1986, Okeechobee looked like a completely different lake than it does now. When you launched out of like Roland Martin's Marina down there, you had, God, it seemed like miles of pepper grass and aquatic vegetation that went out into the lake. Crystal clear water way out into the lake. He, he, I mean, you'd get on the outside edge of some of that vegetation, two, three miles offshore, and you'd have three and four foot of water visibility. The diversity of cover, the water uh, clarity and quality was just unbelievable. And what we've seen is over the years, year after year, that's been degraded a little bit to where now Okeechobee looks like a dang farm pond. It's just silt. It's full of silt, full of sediment, uh, you know, it just, it's nothing like its former self. And this has went on in a lot of different Florida fisheries. And a big reason of this, for several different environmental reasons, but a big reason of this is the spraying of the aquatic vegetation that kills the habitat. I mean, you don't have that, when you don't have that hydrilla and you don't have that aquatic, aquatic vegetation, especially submergent vegetation, <coughs> You don't have anything to filter all those that particles and sediment, and you know you then you you begin to lose your water quality and visibility. And to me, the, the most one of the most insane things that we do as a society is spray toxic chemicals on our water to kill vegetation when you have so many more environmental safe opportunities. There, there's the, there's these things called mechanical harvesters they use in some of the TVA lakes where they're. It's basically, it looks like a big, uh, 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 sort of like a water wheel that goes in there, you know, and cuts the vegetation like a lawnmower. And then it loads it up and it can be sold as cattle feed. It can be sold for different types of feed. You know, totally non-pollutant. You can control the swath that you cut on this. It's not, it doesn't just indiscriminately kill every bit of grass in it. And it's obviously, it's a good, you know, make work project creates jobs that can be done everywhere and it's sustainable it gives you a sustainable uh, food source you know for for livestock and that type of stuff so um but what we've seen is this this wholesale onslaught of spraying toxic chemicals in our water not only in florida but in a lot of the lakes around the country that have aquatic vegetation and i for one do not know how this goes down who are the people that decide that this is what we're gonna do and that they allocate millions of dollars to basically pollute our water, it's, it's, it's just absolutely disgusting. And the only thing that I know, that, the only way that we can change this is through public outrage and pressure on our legislators. <laughs> and I just wanna encourage everybody to contact their state rep, start at that level, and, and voice your opposition to spraying toxic chemicals on our water to kill vegetation, particularly Florida residents, you know, all the lakes that have, uh, you know, spraying on it. <coughs> Even some of the places up north, I've, I've noticed they've done that. <coughs> but, you know, it's really a sad deal because like I said, you know, Florida, Florida is sort of like the epicenter of all this going on. And you just, it, you know, it's, it's a tremendous, environmental disaster what's happening in Florida right now. I mean, you talk to any bass angler that goes down there, you know, the, the amount of fishable water is very limited. You know, everybody winds up in small areas. Uh, the percentage of clear, clean water is, is deteriorating every day. 
and it's just there's no reason for it. Like I said, we have environmentally safe alternatives that are sustainable in this that can be taken care of. And I, and I don't know, I don't understand the politics behind it. I don't know if somebody's profiting from spraying these toxic chemicals on the water or it's just ignorance or if it's just it, misinformation or apathy. I'm not sure what the deal is. But we can change this. Like I said, contact your local uh, legislators, state representatives, put the pressure on them. Um, let them know that this is totally unacceptable and that the people that, that support this will be voted out. And that's how we can affect change. So anyway, just a little bit of spiel on that today and hope everybody's having a good day and we'll check in later.